Welcome to Riyadh, it's weigh-in day and we are joined by Denis McCann. I don't know why I'm saying it in a <laughs> French accent. <laughs> Denis, Denis McCann, I'm not in Paris, I'm in Riyadh. But hello Denis McCann, how are you? I'm all good my friend, how are you doing? Very good, why are you here? I'm here just, uh, just to watch, uh, get soak it all up, the atmosphere. Um, I'm fighting here 21st of December myself. So I'll just get a little taste of it, you know what I mean? Fantastic fight with Peter McGrail, by the way. Good scrap, it's going to be a good scrap. Listen, it's a, it's a great opportunity for you, isn't it? I mean, look, getting out here on the Riyadh season, that's where every boxer now wants to be. You get that opportunity to springboard your career in many ways and showcase your skills out here. Absolutely. I'm, listen, I'm very grateful to, to Frank Warren, um, he's a great promoter, and also Spencer Brown, my manager. Um, thank you very much for the opportunity. I'm not going to let it slide. I'm 23 years of age. I'm big as an ox. I'm ready to box, as I said before. I'm young, I'm hungry, I'm, I'm actually starving, to be honest with you, so I'm not letting this opportunity slip, no way. You two took the mickey out of me wearing big black boots tonight. You've got some nice sandals on, desert sandals. Beautiful, isn't it? Well, um, they, they look designer as well. Oh, well, yeah. To be fair, it's 90 degrees tonight. It's a bit hot, do you know what I mean? It's not. <laughs> well, you complained about the heat in the York Hall when you fought. It's warm here, isn't it? Well, it's roasting, it's roasting mm. here. I feel, I feel a bit sorry, probably harder for you, to be honest with you. <laughs> Listen, how do you deal with that, though? Like, you know, get, how do you acclimatise to that? Like, to, do you do you turn up early? I mean, how, when would you come out before the twenty first? Obviously, would it be a couple of weeks going before? Going home. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get rid of me. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull a caravan over there. Boris <laughs> <laughs> Bor uh, Boris boots and use it for running. That's it. <laughs> um, probably two weeks, maybe ten days. Hopefully, my coach comes out for two weeks. Um, get used to the heat. That's why I come out here now as well. Just get the experience and um, just know what to expect. You know what I mean? Mm. So it ain't too much at once. Yeah. What well, weight do you walk around that, by the way? No. I'll just. No. Come on now. We're on camera, mate. My, my coach is watching this, alright? What would you have done to him in his prime? <laughs> no comment. You've danced around him and beaten him up. Don't say no, no comment. No. If you're also a squinner, just probably bite him, elbow him, kick him. Yeah. That's it. You know yeah. he was a bit like that himself, though. It'd have been a proper scrap with you yeah, two on the cobbles. Yeah, it'd be, be, be a lot of biting going on, wouldn't it? <laughs> If you were 25 years younger, that, that would have been an amazing. I, I think that would be a little bit more than 25 years. Mate, I think. Um, the d talk to us about the card at the weekend. Um, better be up against Bibol. Is it a fight you're looking forward to seeing? Oh, absolutely, definitely. Um, I, I, I think I made a prediction. I got. I will uh, predict Bibol, but only because he's youth. But it's better to be heavy. He's 40 years old. Is he ever going to break down? I don't know, to be honest, because he's, just, he's getting better at each fight. I want to ask so you. You didn't pick someone there then? I'm going to say Bivol. <laughs> what do you think Bivol points? I'm going to go yeah. Bivol points, yeah. Yeah, interesting. I want to ask you about a fight that's getting overlooked and overshadowed on the undercard, and that's Jaya Pattaya versus Jack Massey. A lot of people rip Jack Massey off totally. What's your thoughts on it? I see, I'm a big fan of Jaya Pattaya. Um, I thought he's. Uh, so you're writing Jack off as well, then? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, right? sorry, Jack. If you're watching this, mate. Um, but listen, it's not impossible. See, his, what, his last fight was a Joseph Parker. Uh, yeah. No, his last fight against I Isaac Chamberlain. Isaac Chamberlain, sorry, that was it. He's improved all time. He's a he's a kid that likes to take opportunity and run with it. So it could be a harder fight for for um, Opatai than people give it credit for. Probably the best, uh, uh, the better opposition he's had his last couple of fights. Yeah. I think absolutely. Um, yeah. But listen, I'm gonna be rooting for Jack. He's yeah, from the course. UK, and that's it. Sorry. Brilliant. Let me just ask you, a fight we've been talking about a little bit after his success last weekend. Um, I'm sure he's a friend of yours, he's in the same stable. Nick Ball looked very, very good against Rios. Not well, for the same area, not the same stable, we're, we're rivals. Uh, I know you're rivals, but... I'm not mean him, the ERT and, and my gym, but Thunder's rivals. They are, you, of course you are, but what I'm saying, same Frank Warren stable, yeah, I, yeah. I meant in that sense. Um, a fight we've talked about a little bit is Noya Nui and Nick Ball. Is that a fight you'd like to see, or are you still chasing the Inui men? Uh, this is a fight I'd love to see. Um, Nick's doing so good at the moment. Um, he's working very hard and, 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 and he's, his performance is showing it, you know. But yeah, don't, don't write off Nick Ball. He's, he's got a good chance. You never know, do you? He's strong, he's relentless. Don't write him off. When do we see Dennis McCann moving up to February? Because that's super bantam way. I'm looking at you, man. I'm sizing you up. I, I was there once and I go up and down and all that. <laughs> but I go, that must be a bit of a struggle for you. Listen, I've got to be very disciplined for quite a yeah. long time, but it's not too bad. Um, it ain't too bad, but. I've got to be very disciplined and um, I've got to be on, on, a, on a big time. Mm. Could you imagine no, that? Harry Bowles is packed straight in the bin to be yeah, they, they ask us, I mean, traditionally, I mean, I'm going back in the day now, one of the things that happened with travellers that was the discipline with drink and, uh, drink and food, yeah. uh, and I nearly said drugs, I didn't <laughs> <laughs> so I said drink and food um, and going to work, but there's, there's been a seismic 
kind of generational shift and you are very much a professional boxer and live that way. What is your diet like for keeping on weight and do you, have you got a nutritionist? Do you stick very closely to it? Do you have cheat days? Zero cheat days. I've been very disciplined for 10 weeks. Dr. Carl Evans, one of the best nutritionists in, um, in Europe. Carl Evans? Yeah, he does Nick Ball as well. He, he, does. Does, a, he does a few of them. He's great, you know. So I've got to be very disciplined for a very long time, but that's it. As I said, I'm big as an ox. Mate, and you would have knocked Spencer Olive out in his prime, yeah? Oh, to be honest, I reckon I sparked him in one, but there we go. It's a big uh, shout, big, big shout. But now, before we go, like, can you give um, the nutritionist Gareth's number? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a <We> civilian. <laughs> on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.